Bill Sofield grew up in New Jersey in what he would describe today as a rigorous modernist house. Having seen images of his own home today in New York, I have to think of the show Mad Men. So think kind of that aesthetic, kind of like late 50s, 60s, really clean modern. He was so inspired by this house that he grew up in in New Jersey that he went on to study architecture. After that, he was awarded a very prestigious award from the Helena Rubinstein Foundation and studied art and design at the Whitney Museum of Fine Art in New York City. His first kind of big job working out of college was working for the famous American designer, Ralph Lauren, in the tabletop department. There were two other gentlemen that worked there that were his pals. One of them is the now famous designer, Thomas O'Brien, and the other one is the equally famous designer, Thomas Pheasant. The three of them were buddies, they were friends. They ultimately left Ralph Lauren and they started a company out on the West Coast called Arrow, which is this incredible soft goods home furnishing company. They have that business today, but they've each also opened their own businesses. Bill is based in New York City. His company is called Studio Sofield, and they have a long list of celebrity clients. His residential clients include the likes of Martha Stewart, his former employer Ralph Lauren, Giorgio Armani, P. Diddy, many, many others. But that's not really what he's known for. What he's really known for is luxury retail store design. Many years ago, we all may remember that uh, the once great Italian fashion house, Gucci, kind of fallen apart at the seams. Under the leadership of Tom Ford, that company was rebranded into what it is today. As part of that rebranding, they had to remodel all 400 stores around the world from top to bottom. And Bill Sofield got the job. Well, after that, he was awarded other jobs like Yves Saint Laurent and Bottega Veneta and Boucheron and Santa Eulalia. His most recent work actually is doing the redesign of the stores for Harry Winston. He does a lot of extensive work in high-end hotel projects, most of it in New York. His collection for us at Callista is called Jeton. Um, Jeton is actually a word that has many meanings and many different languages, but if you were to see this collection, it draws inspiration from the haute couture of Christian Dior, Yves Saint Laurent, Eileen Gray, and I believe it has an incredible amount of jewelry references, perhaps from Harry Winston. The star of the show is the brassware. If we look at the brass ware, and we look at the handles in particular, the top of the spout, it has an incredible amount of fastening in the brass, which we can do because it is a hand-forged product. That fastening is pulled right out of metalwork, just like you would see in jewelry design. Two different versions in this collection. There's kind of a light version and a dark version, a high lacquer white with a statuary marble, and then a beautiful Macassar ebony with a Nero Marquina surround. So Callista is known for really unusual, beautiful brassware finishes. In his collection, one of his unusual finishes is called Black Nickel. When I think about what he adds to Callista, I think that he, he answered this need that we had, straddling sort of this transitional look that we're so well known for and this modern look which we aspire to. We're never going to be super contemporary at Callista. That's, we're never of a moment. We're a little more classical than that. But I think he answers that need for someone who wants something just a little bit more on the edge than what you might have seen from us in the past. Bill is the designer that you may personally not know of, but you actually interact with him more than any of the others. I think he really pushes the envelope in terms of hotel design and commercial design, but we may not know who he is. He kind of is content to be a little bit in the background, a little bit in the shadows. I think when our customers are exposed to who he is and all the incredible work that he's done, they understand why he was a logical choice for us at Callista.